It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And it's an uncorking, and it's a dual uncorking, Double Sarah. Double uncorking. <laughs> <laughs> Dance hall horn. <laughs> double the pleasure, double the fun. We have two different bourbons from A.D. Laws. From uh, Laws Whiskey House in Denver, Colorado. Colorado. Yeah, uh, and they're both four grains. So this being a four grain, the wheat rye and barley are all listed as Colorado grains, so raised there in Colorado. And the mash bill is 60% corn, 20% wheat, 10% barley, and 10% rye. Um, really quality, solid bottle, I feel like. Yeah. It's hefty, <laughs> but I like it. Type of thing, you know, when you finish it, you can use it as a decanter. You know? See, that's what I was, yeah, I was just yeah. saying how that would be really nice. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. pretty. So. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do this one first. Yeah. Okay, do you wanna? I'll do it. Go for it. Ooh. Ah, nice pop. That was a decent one. Yeah. They're also planning on, in the future, making a six year rye mm -hmm. and a six year bottle and bond bourbon. Ooh. So, Which is, I think, you know, doing it the right way. Like yeah. some people just get it out there as soon as they can get it on the market and they never go past what it is, you know, whatever it's at, the age, age-wise, and, and I think that's a mistake, mm -hmm. so. So this, uh, this goes for around $60? Yep, for roughly. This, for this bottle. You know, here on the back it says aged for over two years, but online we saw where it was listed as a minimum of three. Yeah, on their bottle it says over two, but on their website it says over three. Yeah. So, and, or three, at least three. And a Whiskey Wash article listed it as a minimum of three years. So, some conflicting info there. And then price, there was some variation also. So, yeah. but roughly 60 bucks. Ruff, roughly 60 bucks. All right. Grainy. <laughs> it is grainy. You can kind of smell the uh, the youth, I believe. It smells a... I get a lot of cereal, mm -hmm. rice, but yeah, yeah. the youth. Mm -hmm. Now I hear that they also change the conditions in the warehouse where the barrel is, huh. changing the pressure, changing the heat to kind of, you know, because Colorado doesn't have like the seasons that we're used to here in Kentucky. Yeah. But also that's, you know, like here in the winter in Kentucky, not a lot's hot happening in the barrel really. Right. So it sounds like they're trying to manipulate those barrels and mm -hmm. get get more out of it in the short amount of time as they continue to grow. Yeah. I don't know. I also kind of get some honey. Huh. Like clover honey. Maybe. Yeah. I, I think I think it's there. All right. All right. Peppery. Yeah. It is peppery. I still do get a little bit of honey, but some like citrus zest. Definitely. Kind of like uh, the peel of lemon. Maybe. Lemon or well, orange? Because you know what I was going to say was like whenever I was smelling in the beginning, it kind of smells like green tea with lemon and honey, which I drink sometimes in the morning. I'm like, that's kind of what this reminds me of. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice and warm. Yeah. The uh, proof, I don't think we said the proof. So 95 proof. I think if you feel it, uh, I think it's an appropriate proof. Yeah. Um, I think that there are a lot of good characteristics in this. I think it's really flavorful and interesting for a two to three year old um, bourbon. I think it kind of some, uh, sort of like some fig or is it maybe apricot? I'll give you the apricot, yeah. apricot, whatever apricot. you say. Apricot, apricot. It's a little useful for me mm -hmm. personally. Um, it's reminding me a teeny tiny bit of scotch. It's ricey to me. It's like very like rice but I think that there's some really good base here mm -hmm. like I think that this I feel like it's gonna turn out well like you know yeah you're gonna grow up to be a good one <laughs> yeah um, so I'm really excited to try this bottle and bond and actually I think it's really cool like you said they're gonna do the six year mm -hmm. as well and I think that's a great idea because yeah. I definitely think there's something here so we're gonna let it kind of open up a little bit more in our glass here. We're gonna kind of hit the pause button, come back after about 10 minutes and revisit this again. Yeah. All right, we've let it kind of sit in the glass, open up some more. Yep. Oh, you know what? I get some more like floral on the nose now. You know, this taste that I just had I think it has opened up a little bit more. 
I'm getting a little bit I more agree. from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a darker, more caramel flavor. Yeah. Um, and less of that, the grainy riciness. I mean, yeah. obviously it's grains. It's made from grains, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Things that I would attribute to it being young. Yeah, I think... Um, um, I'm just obsessed with this little yeah. emblem on the back. I just yeah, want to touch neat. it. <laughs> After letting it kind of open up for a while, the finish can go almost kind of to a chocolate note a little bit. You know, you get where it's sort of approaching it. If you really let it kind of de de yeah, decay on the tongue. And I'm appreciating the kind of the heat that it brings, too. Me, too. I think it's a really appropriate proof. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see how the 100 is here in a Yeah, second. I'm really excited about that. I, I still feel the same way. Like, I still feel it's a solid start, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I want to see... I would love to, whenever they do release a six year, see this against that, just yeah. because. And like, I'm excited to try the four year because it's the yeah. same mash bill, same grains. Like you, I'm really looking forward to trying mm -hmm. a little higher proof and a little older. Okay, so we washed out our Norlin and now we do the Shoot. switch. Boop. Another good pop. Okay, so again, five proof, it's points higher. Um, a couple years older. Yeah, well, I mean, one to, I mean, you know, one to two years older. It's older. Darker. Darker for sure. And uh, same mash bill, 60, 20, 10, 10. Different fragrance, that's for sure. I get like brown sugar. Hmm. And some char. Get kind of a candied, I don't know what. Get a little pepper. A little bit of apple. It's definitely a different smell than, than the straight bourbon. It's crazy what a little bit more time and a couple per points higher can do. Yeah. Now this one was running around 70. I saw a range online, um, depending on area availability, all that stuff. Um, once I had a list for like 110, I was like, I don't think that sounds right. Wow. <laughs> other ones were like 66, 99, 77. So I think it's in the 70 range. Mm -hmm. um, and for the extra 10 to $15, I mean, I'm gonna let it sit for a second, but I think I can confidently say off the bat, this is, I picked this. Oh yeah, to finish for sure. I'm I mean, it's going on longer. A lot better. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. really full and... Yeah, nice little attack to it in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then it has this warm feeling over the tongue. Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised it's only 10% rye. It's spicy, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's got a kick to it. I feel like if you gave this to me blind, I would say it was higher than 100 proof. Yeah. So now I'm like, what's the six year gonna taste like? <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, what I'm really, yeah. Uh, I think a much improved from the first one and um, more developed, but I, I'd like to see it go even further. So I guess, and I think they probably agree, which is why they're making the next one. Yeah. And now I'm really excited about trying their rise mm -hmm. because like that's, I mean, you know, you don't often come across a two to three year that you're like, oh, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, put it back. <laughs> yeah. Take, take yeah. it back. I don't want it. <laughs> you know, this is hitting more notes that we're used to and your typical pre-grain bourbons that are, you know, mm -hmm. six years or older. Getting more of that caramel in there. Mm -hmm. A little bit of vanilla, not not super, No. not a lot, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, it, it's hitting more of those notes that you're used to hearing. It almost has like a cookie taste to it, like a, mm. like a shortbread cookie. Shortbread. Like, yeah, um, and almost like, it. Now that I said that, I really want to eat a cookie yeah. with this. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's reminding me a lot of that. Like, that's what I want to do right now. Mm. Well, cool. That sounds like fun. I want to do that. Mm. Why don't we have any cookies? <laughs> oh. Mm. Let's do the same thing we did the last one. Let's. Yeah, let's let it sit for a minute. Let it sit let's for a couple back. 10 minutes, and we'll be back. Okay. Definitely there. I think there's more picking up on some more all all spice. It's like a lighter than I'm used to though. Mm -hmm. Normally I get like a. I don't. There's not such a thing as a dark all spice, but you know deeper. I think. Mm -hmm. And this is more like airy. Yeah. There's still like the faintest ghost of the youth from the first one. Um, I but think it, maybe if we hadn't had that one first, if we'd only had this one. Maybe we wouldn't. We wouldn't be yeah, picking up on dang, it. Maybe we should have gone the other way. I didn't know. Oh, that's fine. Between the two, we obviously like the bottled and bond yes. better. Let's bring them both back in here. <clears throat> um, and especially if you are talking about a $10 difference, I'd say for the five points higher in the proof and for the extra age, I think it's definitely right. worth it to get the bottled and bond. Mm -hmm. First of all, I think it's super cool that they are doing a bottled and bond. It's, I think so it's too. It's not 
an easy thing to do, especially no. for a newer distillery. Mm -hmm. And these guys have been around since uh, 2011, I believe. So oh, they wow. filled their first barrel. Um, so that's definitely cool because it's the most regulated subsection mm -hmm. of, of bourbon sure. out there. So It's pretty bold to be like, we're going to do this. Yeah, we're and not even just, and they're doing it in rye and then they're going to yeah. do the six year. Um, and they've got yeah. a lot of products. they got a lot of products Go to their going. website and check out all their products. They, yeah. they do have a lot. Now, um, what would you say about price? Um, I mean, I think that this price, 60 to 70, is not unusual for what we're seeing for new distilleries. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, some people will be allergic to that price range. That's fine. But anyone who's been to tour craft distilleries or newer distilleries, that seems pretty standard for that for new releases in new places mm -hmm. so um i mean in general as a whole i don't love it but since it's pretty much in line with everything else you can't really you know hold it against it so right, yeah you know i think it seems pretty standard for that whole world and i but i think you know it's something if you come across it uh it's worth a taste for sure yeah and they're not in all states they're not. yet like they're not in kentucky um but they are coming to more and more states so it might be kind of hard for you to find it anyway but if you do find it in a bar I would recommend giving it a try mm -hmm. um, you know 50 60 60 70 bucks there are other bourbons that we would go to first mm -hmm. but I think if you're in that craft mood and and you're wanting to expand your horizons they're definitely worth the pour Hats off to what they're trying to do. Yeah, absolutely. I think looking forward to doing the effort, the, maximum effort. <laughs> yeah, to doing the the rise. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Corking. I'm excited about yeah, that too. Yeah, because we've been on kind of a big ride kick here mm -hmm. lately, anyway. So, so that's cool. So. I think we've said all we could say. Yeah. There you go. A uh, a, a non Kentucky bourbon oh, for us, yeah. which doesn't happen all it that often, happen. but it's happening more and more because right. they're, they're they're all just popping all up. over the place. So from two Kentuckians about two Colorado bourbons, you know? There you go. All right, cool. Guys, if you haven't subscribed already, what you waiting for? We'd appreciate it. Do it. Um, yeah, just hit that subscribe button. You can hit the bell notifications if you want to be notified. And then you can follow us on the social medias. At It's Bourbon Night. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy things that we use here on the show on our Amazon page. Which is? Oh, Amazon.com slash shop slash It's Bourbon Night. I'm quizzing her. And then lastly, Just pull the string on my back. <laughs> I'll say whatever you want. And then lastly, you can become one of our drinking buddies by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon.